Now we will calculate mean of the log normal distribution which is equals to first moment about a region that is the mu1 dash and we know that mu1 dash is equals to expectation of x raised to power 1. Now according to the definition of the expectation we write here integration over the whole values of x with respect to dx and here we write that term which is inside the expectation that is the x multiply by the pdf of the log normal distribution. Now we know that the pdf of the log normal distribution is this. So now this is the constant term. So that's why we write this constant term outside the integral and rest of these terms which contain the variable x. We write these terms inside the integral as like this. Now x will be cancelled out by the x. Now to make this integration more easier we will use this substitution that is the at the place of this we write only y. So now after multiplying this sigma with y we get this and taking mu to the next side we get this. Now we will take exponential to both sides then we will get the value of the x which is equals to e raised to power sigma y plus mu. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x. Here we write only 1. Here when we do the differentiation of this term we get sigma multiplied by e raised to power sigma y plus mu. Now, because this term is in terms of y random variable, but we are differentiating it with respect to x. That's why we write here dy by dx. So from here we get the value of dx which is equals to this one. Now again, when the value of x is equals to 0, we want the value of the y. So we know that according to this term, the value of y is equals to log 0 minus mu divided by the sigma. And we know that the value of the log 0 is undefined. That's why we write here minus infinity. Now again when the value of x is equals to infinity we want the value of the y. Again the value of y is equal to log infinity minus mu divided by sigma and we know that log infinity is also infinity that's why we write here infinity. Now because of this equation we write here only y and because of this equation at the place of the dx we write here this term and moreover we use these new limits that is from the minus infinity to infinity. Now sigma will be cancelled out by the sigma. Now since our bases are same we can add these powers that is sigma y plus this term plus mu as like this. Now again we know that e raised to power mu is the constant term so that's why we write here this term outside the integration. Now we will take common minus 1 by 2 from these two terms. So we here we have to write only y square and here we have to write minus 2 sigma y. Now we want to make this term in form of a plus b square or in form of the a minus b square. So now if we take it as a, so it is the a square and now it can be as 2ab where a is this, b is this and 2 is this. So that means we want here plus b square. So that's why we can complete this square. Now that means we have to plus a sigma square and subtract sigma square from this equation as like this. Now this whole equation can be written as y minus sigma whole square and again the minus sigma square multiplied by minus 1 by 2 that is the e raised to power sigma square by 2 is the constant term. So we can take that term outside the integral as like this and we can add that power with the power of this exponential because our bases are same. Now again to make integration more easier we use this substitution that is at the place of this we write only t. Now differentiating both sides with respect to t we get the value of the dy in terms of the dt that is at the place of dy we write here dt and at the place of here we write only t. Since now we know that the pdf of the standard normal distribution is this that is in the standard normal distribution we just put the value of mu is equal to 0 and the value of sigma is equal to 1. And we also know one more thing that is the integration from minus infinity to infinity to the pdf of every distribution is always equal to 1. Now since it is the pdf of the standard normal distribution just the difference is at the place of x here we are writing t. So it is the pdf and we are taking integration from minus infinity to infinity that means its value is equals to 1. So overall our answer is only this term. 
that means mean which is also called mu1 dash also called expectation of x is equals to e raised to the power mu plus half sigma square so in this way we calculated the mean of the log normal distribution which is actually expectation of x raised to the power 1 we write its definition then after using simple these two substitutions and by doing calculations and by using this property of the pdf we get the mean of the log normal distribution now we will calculate the variance of the log normal distribution since we know that the formula of the variance in term of expectations is this and in terms of the moments our variance is equal to second moment about mean which in terms of moments about origin is this now we already calculated the expectation of x we just have to calculate expectation of x square that's why after substituting expectation of x square here and expectation of x here we can get the answer of the variance of our log normal distribution so let's start we just have to calculate the value of expectation of x square so expectation of x square is equals to integration over the old values of x with respect to dx here we write the value which is inside the expectation here we write the pdf of the norm log normal distribution and again it is a constant term so we write uh, this term outside the integration and rest of the terms which contain the variable x we write them inside the integration now x will be cancelled out by square so we left with the only value of the x now to make integration more easier we use this substitution that is the at the place of this value we write only y so now by taking sigma to another side we get this and by taking mu to another side we get this so that means uh, taking exponential to both sides we get the value of x is equals to this then differentiating both sides with respect to x we get this value that is here we get only one and here at the place of this after differentiation we get this value and because it is in terms of y but we are differentiating it with respect to x so we write here dy by dx and from here we get the value of dx is equals to this term you can also differentiate it with respect to y you will get the same answer so now because of this equation at the place of here we write only y and because of this equation at the place of x we write this term and because of this equation at the place of the dx we write overall this term now bases are same so we can add these powers that is the sigma y plus sigma y is 2 sigma y mu plus mu is 2 mu and we will add then minus 1 by 2 y square here now we know that e raised to power 2 mu is the constant term because it does not contain the random variable y so we take this term outside the integration as like this now from these two terms firstly we get common minus 1 by 2 so here we have to write only y square and here we have to write minus 4 sigma y because we take minus 1 by 2 common from this term as like this now we want to make this term in form of a plus b square or in term of the a minus b square now if we let it as a then this term can be written as minus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by sigma multiplied by y that is this is a this is 2 and it must be r b that is now we want here plus b square to complete this whole square so that's why we plus here 2 sigma square and minus 2 sigma square because our value of b is 2 sigma so that's why overall this equation is the y minus 2 sigma square and again minus 2 sigma square multiply by minus half that is the minus 1 by 2 multiply the minus 4 sigma square that is overall plus 2 sigma square is the constant term so we take e raised to power 2 sigma square outside the integration as like this and again bases are same so we can add these powers as like this and for making the integration more easier we use this substitution that is at the place of this we write only t and after doing differentiation with respect to t we get the value of dy in terms of dt that is at the place of dy you write here only dt and here we write only t square that is overall we get this and now we can again see that actually it is the pdf of this 
standard normal distribution and we are doing integration from minus infinity to infinity so that means its overall value is only 1 and our answer is only this term that is e raised to power 2 mu plus 2 sigma square it is the answer of the expectation of x square now we will calculate the value of the variance which in term of expectations is this so we calculated expectation of x is this and expectation of x square is this now after multiplying 2 with these powers we get this term we can write this value as like this now we can take common this term and this term from these two terms as like this and inside the bracket we have only raised to power sigma square minus 1 so it is the variance so far log normal distribution thanks for watching our video if you like our video then please like share and subscribe our channel and you can watch our other playlists also as like tfz distributions sky sky distribution central limit theorem discrete distributions continuous distributions and please recommend us more topics on the basis of which we will make videos via the comment box thanks for watching